What's up, guys? It's your boy, John to Gamer here, back with more WWE 2K19. It's time for us to get into showcase mode. Now, I know it'll say uh, I already completed that, but just ignore it because I gotta play it. I gotta play it again because. A lot of guys parlayed competitive I mess, matches I on messed up the to being signed full time to WWE. Through. But that's not how things turned out. So, it's like my wife gotta jump back in. So, let's do this again, shall we? A lot of guys would have parlayed competitive matches on heat and velocity into being signed full time to WWE, but that's not how things turned out. It's like my wife Bree likes to say, if anything was easy for me, I wouldn't be Daniel Bryan. But before I could become Daniel Bryan, I was Bryan Danielson. And as Bryan Danielson, I went on quite the run through the Indies. Over the course of seven years, I won my first world championship and had some amazing matches against guys who went on to become major WWE superstars. Guys like Seth Rollins, Cesaro, all sorts of guys all over the place. A lot of hardcore fans even say these were some of the best matches of my career. Personally, I credit these matches and opponents for helping me build the foundation I would later need to make it as a WWE superstar. Fans on the indie scene weren't the only ones who took notice, because in 2010, WWE re-signed me and Daniel Bryan was officially born. My name is Daniel Bryan. I've been wrestling all over the world, and finally, finally, I have an opportunity here in the WWE. Although much like childbirth, as I've heard from my wife, this was also a somewhat painful experience. I came back as part of NXT, which wasn't like the NXT that you know and love today. At the time, NXT was a reality show with rookies and pro mentors. Unfortunately, my pro was The Miz. People say that you're great. They're blowing out shots of that you're ready for David Otonga and Michael Tyra, ready? but you can tell where they are based on the gear. Yes, they do. But one thing you have to learn about the WWE is you have to expect anything. And there's Wade Barrett. Believe it or not, they didn't get along not very well back then either. Obviously. Well, David is, but the other I think two. the most ridiculous thing we had to do in NXT yeah, was the obstacle course. Okay, so you're going to do the monkey bars. Then we go in the ring and juggle. Juggle. Then you're going to see how fast you can drink soda. Side note, it was actually supposed to be a hot dog eating contest. When they realized I was vegan and they didn't have any vegan hot dogs, they turned it into a soda drinking contest. I didn't know vegans could drink soda. Not drink at all. I hadn't drank any soda in years. Think, watching that on TV, a grown man just drinking soda from a cup. That's it. Despite that, I did have the tremendous opportunity to show the WWE Universe what I was capable of when I got to face the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. I loved watching Chris Jericho from the time I was in high school. The stuff that he did in WCW, being able to go against the World Champion on NXT on the first show. Win, lose, or draw, that elevates you. And I was very thankful for that opportunity. Alright, here we go. We're on the inaugural episode of NXT, the World Heavyweight Champion Chris Jericho taking on the Miz's rookie, Daniel Bryan. I've been looking forward to this main event. WrestleMania is on the horizon, but tonight is a, a WrestleMania of sorts for all the NXT rookies. Well, Daniel Bryan was excited earlier in the night to be out on the biggest stage of his life, but that was before he knew he was going to face the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to have to learn to take Miz's advice if he wants to survive here. Got it. Makes you feel really nostalgic, doesn't it? Mention of the World Heavyweight Championship and stuff. Even have got the classic NXT arena. In 2010, they got a stand in for Wade Michael, Barrett over there. Do you think that Chris Jericho might become a believer here tonight? I think the WWE Universe is starting to become a believer in Daniel Bryan. No, no. What I think is Chris Jericho is a six time world champion, he's a nine time intercontinental champion. He's a pro to a rookie that shows him respect that Jericho is out here to put this Bryan goof in his place. And they're even authentic with the commentary. Cole's being his heel asshole self, while Graves is being the heel himself, and Saxon's the babyface commentator in the place of Josh Matthews. Pretty impressive. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the 
knows? I've got to say, I'm surprised to see Brian actually testing the champion here a bit. It must be the inspiration from The Miz that's propelling this offense. Inspiration from The Miz, my ass. This ain't doing shit. He's yeah. inflicting some serious pain here. Here's the cover by Jericho. Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, this early, no chance. No. no. Oh. 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 Incredible. This has to be it. Daniel Bryan has had compounding problems tonight, and the main one is standing ringside. Yeah, but Miz isn't in the ring, Saxton. The World Heavyweight Champion is. If Daniel Bryan has an issue with Miz, now is not the time to worry about it. Yeah, I mean, you, you got mention of the World Heavyweight Championship, the old unified tag team titles. His WrestleMania 26 and that's Edge still mention it. Okay. You Pretty know, crazy. I have to wonder if Daniel Bryan is still thinking about earlier tonight, but his promo, he's got plenty of gas left in his tank. Pretty crazy. I mean, they, they went all out for all statistics, man. Why is the Miz even out here? The way he's treated Daniel Bryan has been demoralizing. Oh, I don't have any reason for the Miz to be out here. Where do you want him to be, Byron? That's where he's supposed to be. He's Daniel Bryan's mentor. Just because Miz humbled Bryan earlier doesn't mean he's complete. Too soon. He's flipped the switch, that's for sure. Gotta roll out and give myself a minute to catch my breath. I have to admit the NXT rookies have been fairly feisty tonight with their WWE pros, to say the least. But there's been no bigger offender than Daniel Bryan. Bit of ungratefulness shown on the part of Daniel Bryan. Now Jericho is going to tell him the Miz is his WWE pro was the real slap in the face tonight. He's making a statement here with this attack. Returning to Daniel Bryan, not wanting The Miz as his pro, I do see Bryan's point. Daniel has a career performing in the ring that is twice as long as The Miz. But he hasn't been in the WWE, Byron. The Miz is well within his... Here's Chris Jericho. Uh-oh. Wall is Jericho. Thankfully, I'm near the ropes. He's got it. Walls of Jericho locked in. Incredible. You feel a stretch like that even after you escape. Gotta restart. No problem. Didn't actually count, so it never happened. Daniel Bryan with a great offensive show. We're on the inaugural episode of NXT. The World Heavyweight Champion Chris Jericho taking on the Miz's rookie, Daniel Bryan. I've been looking forward to this main event. WrestleMania is on the horizon. But I missed that up. Like a WrestleMania of sorts for all the NXT rookies. Oh, Daniel Bryan was excited earlier in the night to be out on the biggest stage of his life. But that was before he knew he was going to face the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to have to learn to take Miz's advice if he wants to survive here. Oh, chin-breaking uppercut right to the face. Yeah, like Miz's advice will do him any, any good at all for it. It didn't in real life, I won't be getting here. On the attack. The whole purpose of this show is to find the next breakout star, the next main eventer. In my mind, in my estimation, Daniel Bryan, shoulders on the back. Chris Jericho's on the attack now. Too soon. Oh, oh man. Man, Chris Jericho, what offense. Oh, oh, man. Gets him with a kick. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. I've got to say, I'm surprised to see Brian actually testing the champion here a bit. It must be the inspiration from The Miz that's propelling this offense. Inspiration, my ass, Michael. He wouldn't know how to inspire anybody if you hate him. Jericho's goes on the attack now. Brian's been known to be a submission specialist on the independence, but Jericho has a few holds of his own to watch out for. Listen, Daniel may be a submission machine, but you don't become a star in WWE without charisma. Brian can't come up with a better catchphrase than The Miz because Daniel Bryan is not awesome. Daniel Bryan has the personality to make paint dry. That's how you make an impact. Nicely done. He's just playing classic offense here. There it is. And with ligaments being tested, you have to wonder how long this can go on. 
There he goes, crashing to the floor. That's how you punch a guy in the face right there. <laughs> Emotions have been running high all night, guys. Daniel Bryan has to put everything that happened earlier in the rearview mirror and focus on Chris Jericho. We've got to cover Now that's how you make a statement. Not yet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Ow. Buses. This one's over. Stiff kick there. There we go. Oh, elbow. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Oh, I think this man needs business. I'm not sure how much he has left. Or oh, Daniels 2010 finisher. Okay, it was still the S one. Brian's been known to be a submission specialist on the independence, but Jericho has a few holds of his own to watch out for. Look, Daniel may be a submission machine, but you don't become a star in WWE without charisma. Brian can't come up with a better catchphrase than The Miz because Daniel Bryan is not awesome. Daniel Bryan has the personality to make paint dry. Hey, running strike from running Jericho. Up. And his elbow finds the mark. Oh boy, he is rolling. Coming for a pin. Will he be victorious? He's got some fight left in him. Nope. To beat the Ayatollah of Rock and Roll, that's not going to do it. There's no way that Jericho's going to lose to this guy. Yeah, but the way this match is going, it's a real possibility. Oh. Jericho, though, needs a breather, and he rolls out of the ring to try to do that. Wise maneuver from a wily veteran. Uh, I'm not sure if Jericho's going to get much rest time. What's this guy oh, doing? Daniel oh, oh, Suicide dive right off the announce desk. Looks like Brian might have bounced off the announce desk himself. I don't think Miz like the fact that Brian threw his body in harm's way, and I, I can't say I blame him. What's this guy thinking? In from the floor. Oh, and that's some serious damage to the back of the neck. Oh, I'm thinking the. Roll into the walls of Jericho. Tap him out, Chris. Bryce trying to find it. Rolls through. What a counter by the technician there. Oh my God. At the heel hook. hook is in. Jericho's in trouble. Jericho trying. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? He may have no choice. He may have made it to the bottom rope. You've got to be impressed, Michael, from what we're seeing from Daniel Bryan. Did he win yet, Byron? Daniel Bryan thinks he's going You can't allow a veteran like Jericho any time to recover. You're right, Corey. That was a rookie move. And now he's going to pay for it, Byron. That may, very well may be the case, Michael. This loser's going to lose again. Uh, Lion Tamer. Can Brian hold on? Tap out, nerd. You got your wins, Cole. Daniel Bryan fought. You've been doing it with the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, oh wow, they got the original uh, ring announcement from back in NXT 2010. Savannah. Luck of the draw, Miz got this loser to be his protege, and now Miz is the top one here. Tough love, give me a break. Tough love. This is ridiculous. Miz is obviously frustrated with his star pupil. Oh yeah, so you're frustrated, so that's okay. Now you can beat him up. Yeah, start winning some matches, then you won't get beat up anymore. Oh, ridiculous. What disrespecting? Huh? Lying on his back, look at the lights again. If you wonder what we unlocked, we unlocked the NXT arena, at Jericho and Ryan from 2010, and the uh, World Heavyweight Championship.
And now, just for a bit, I'll show you. We're gonna wrap this up. There's Jericho 2010. There's Daniel 2010. He looks a lot different compared to now, huh? No beard, no anything. He's no beard or anything. He's clean shaven, kind of kind of like a relaxed hairdo. Now in present day, he's all wild and scruffy. Now I'll show you the championship. There it is, World Heavyweight Championship. Beautiful, ain't it? Pretty beautiful championship. But anyways, in the next video, we'll, we'll see if we can't get Daniel's first championship in the week of the showcase. So until next time, it's your boy Charm City Gamer signing out. Remember if you like to do, be sure to please give it a like and subscribe to join Charm Nation today. If you have any video game clips, be sure to leave them in the comments of this video or at my Twitter feed at Charm City 25. And also, don't check out my friend Mel at Mel's Match at 7 for all our wrestling know-hows. Until next time, peace out.